Hello, welcome back. This is the Luckbox Podcast. I'm here with Red Eye. I feel like we need an intro tune. We do. do, 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 do. We <laughs> I think that'll do. <laughs> I, I will layer that. We'll, we'll auto-tune it. No, right, okay. okay. Yeah, you'd have to spend a lot of money on auto-tune to get my voice to sound good. Uh, uh, how well, are you doing? You, I'm doing great. Yeah. I'm really excited because you know the event we're talking about now? Yes. It's, uh, it's the ears. It's the Mickey Mouse ears. Yes. It's the MDL, Disneyland, Paris, Dota 2 Major. It's a yes. bit of a mouthful. Could be worse. Could be worse. Yeah, it could be the Mars, Dota 2 League, no. Disneyland, Paris Major. Okay. That'd be even more difficult. We haven't included a sponsor in there. No, okay. sure. It could be. The <laughs> How long do you want to make it? <laughs> well, um, it's really exciting for me. At least you don't have to keep saying every couple of hours. Yeah. Let's take a look at the Mountain Dew <laughs> app game fuel power play with Purge. I, I feel like, like how did I burn that into my mind? I feel like you've suffered this. I have. <laughs> I, I, look, all, all Mountain Dew love you guys, but please change the name of all that. So don't give me so many words and letters to use. Well, well, this is the Disneyland Paris Major. It is. We could call it the Paris Major. It's Let's just Disneyland. call it the Paris Major. This is cool. This is, is a it? Dota Two. Is, is it? Are you not? Is really? it? No, I'm not. Are you not really? No, I'm not. No. No. Excited? No. What the hell are we doing going to we Mickey Mouse Land? We've got the Disney castle. We've what? got Disney princesses. Yeah, no? not for me. Okay, well, I'm excited. I think it's pretty well, cool. Well, cool. I'm you a, spend 200 euros getting in to watch some Dota. That's true. I did think about going and then... I mean, I don't know how they're doing the tickets, by the way. So you, yeah. But you have to get in, I guess. So um, no, you can, can you just, just for go, Dota? You can okay, just go no, for the Dota. So you don't have to pay to be in the park. Good. But it seems like a waste. It does. If, I mean, if you're a fan that. of Dota and you're a fan of Disney, then I can't think of anything better for you right now. Mm. You should be flying in from all over the world and going because it's awesome. You okay. get to experience both things at the same time. Oh, I think it's great. I mean, for me personally, no, I'm, I'm like, uh, whatever. Well, on this subject then. Of if it was at Harry Potter, if it was the Harry Potter Paris Major, I'm all over that. <laughs> Give me a broomstick. I'm in playing Quidditch. <laughs> if it's the Game of Thrones Paris Major, mm. I'm all over it Actually. with knives and daggers and dropping stuff. Sorry, spoilers. And all sorts in there. Yeah. No spoilers, please. Amazing. We will get banned from the internet. Will we? Yes. That's right. Jon Snow died, by the way. You know what? Just, just back no, in, back just in no. series this five. Is, this is in, in series don't. five. He died, okay, don't. and then he came back. All right. Um, the, the, we'll let's talk about esports now. Oh yes, let's do that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're an esports show. <laughs> uh, and first of all, I, I want to talk about Team Team because team, uh, team, team. we had we had team, all of that team, controversy team. Oh, back in Mumbai. Gunnar and Newsham getting kicked. Yep. Uh, and they, they, can I rant? Uh, please go ahead. Teams change players all the time. Why is this any bloody different? You know what makes it different for me is that they thought they were going to the major yes. and their parents and family sure. bought no, tickets. No, I understand. That makes That's it really sad. sad. I yeah. do, it's totally, it's totally sad. I get that, and especially with Gunnar. I mean, when he told me, he was like, "Yeah, my parents got tickets." I'm like, "Oh, god, that's awful." But at the same time. I just want some context on it. Hmm. This happens all the time, and it and it shouldn't just before a major because I I do I get the community what they're saying I get the players as well the frustration behind you know they play with the team to qualify for an event they should go to the event and I'm totally with everyone on that I think they should be forced to play with the same team if you qualify with the team this is the five you go with and if you don't tough shit you're out another team gets their spot I'm totally down with that totally down with that when you've got one player who can't make it for a visa or whatever that's different. Kicking a player or kicking two players from the team should null and void your pl your spot in the in the t in the tournament. You shouldn't be able to you shouldn't be able to go. Yeah. Don't give me old you know. Well, Manchester United are allowed to play with different. Players. They've got a squad of forty players. Like it's not the same thing. Mm. So there's the first point. Second point is, if it was eternal envy that's kicked these players, uh, well, we or suggested we've it, assumed it, haven't we? We have. We've made a big assumption, right? It's been like an assumed thing. And if it is him. Well, more power to him then, because he's obviously got a lot of influence in that team. And he's had influence in other teams. And because this looks very similar to other tournaments that we've seen before, sorry, other situations where he's been involved, mm. kicking players or Flying suggesting penguins, kicking players. I mean, absolutely. I mean, misery out of uh, um, Secret. Team Secret back, back in the day as well. Um, the Cloud9 stuff that we had back in the day, the fanatic things. That we've had. There is a pattern here, for sure. But we don't know that it's definitely him, mm. do we? Has it been announced? No one said. Did no Envy suddenly said. come out on Easter and go, yeah, guys, like, fuck me, it was all me. 
Like, please shoot me down. He has no one said that. The assumption is that it's him. And it could be, it could well be him. And Gunnar seemed to say that, despite the fact that he didn't necessarily get on with Envy, it could be. So if it is, well, then more for the rest of the players and team team for listening to him. Because they already had what I thought was a core of really good players in that team. But at the same time, teams kick players all the time in Dodo. It, it, like, I don't wish they didn't, but they do. Mm. And we aren't here criticising other teams for doing stuff. I mean, I think you know, Complexity, for instance, have let go players. Now, there's different circumstances because there's some different things going on from the official word. Mm. So, OK, so it's a different situation. But they were still getting the same shit as Team Team were getting from some fans and some players. But it was different. So what I'm saying is, is do we know the full facts? Probably not. We never will do. Um, and I'm talking as an insider now. We still don't know the facts. And, and even as an outsider or as a fan, as a general fan, wouldn't, who wouldn't have been party to these kind of conversations in you know, the hotel and what have you, they don't know the full truth either. Yeah. So we have to kind of speculate. Now, I wish the team had just been straightforward and come out with and said, look, this is what we've done, and this is why we've done it, and this is what we're going to do. I suppose any decision is a team decision, right? It is a team decision. Like it can't just be... It's not just Mike going, hmm. do you know what? I'm going to screw these guys. We're just going to get rid of them. Yeah. And then the rest of the team go, whoa, Mike, what are you doing? Because they would, right? Mm. Likewise, the eternal envy may have said, guys, I think to improve the team, we need to get rid of these two players. Now, I think that's a mistake. Can, I mean, you know, you can that's call my dollar knowledge all thing. into question if you want. No problem with that. I'm, I'm shitty skilled and what have you, but I know these players and I know what I see is good. And Newsham and Gunnar were the best two players in the group stages. They yeah. were the best two Everyone players. Everyone was saying that. Yeah. Yes. And they're the two that get kicked. Mm. So, hello? That doesn't make sense. Okay, you could say, well, they've had an arguably good day or something and the rest of the days weren't so good. Or it could be attitudes. Mm. It could be just they didn't mesh properly. There's all sorts of different reasons as to why those players have been asked to leave. Yeah. Um, okay. So, rant over. Um, okay. That said... N.A. Dota right now. Hmm. Other than E.G., not in a good place. Yeah. Not in a good place. Really inconsistent. Who's going complexity team Players team all over the EG, place. Yeah. PPD's playing in Europe. I think it says a lot about the state of N.A. Dota, right? And then this is, I know it's memes, but this isn't memes. I'm genuinely concerned for North American Dota. It seems to be on the wane. Hmm. And yet other regions are... Maybe they are on the wane, but they're not on the slide quite so heavily or quite so fast as it seems N.A. are. And N.A. just seem to... Players just keep seem to recycle each other. We're becoming the CIS of America right now, you know? CIS region has been for years, been like a churn of players end up in the same team eventually because they've been through so many other... It's starting to look like that in North America. See, I, I work in the biz, and I would have said if any team is really sponsorable, it'll be a good North American yes. body, right? It's like yep. you've got a, such a massive market sure. to, to put out a brand or a sponsor to... Yep. And and they're not. They haven't got it together. There's not this like. No. I, I think there'd be beer moths in the USA. Just just saying, just owning everything. But yeah, we only see EG have a degree of success. If you ask yeah, me. Yeah, I mean, I I think there are big orgs over there, but mm. I'm not sure. I mean, you know, look at Counter Strike, which is also a non-franchised esports at the top. Mm. And you look at the kind of teams that are involved, organisations that are involved. And I'm going to say we don't have good orgs. We do have good orgs in, in Dota. Hmm. But we don't have all the good orgs. You know, where's, where's a FaZe? Yeah. Where's, where's FaZe's team in here? Where's Optic? Oh, I mean, that, I that mean Optic tried it last year. Yeah. Not come back after the experiment. And I think a lot of that was down to Peter. Um, PPD persuading Optic that, that they should do this, right? Well, he seems, he seems to have given up on NA Dota as well. He buggered off to Europe. Probably because he's tired of all the crap that's going on in, in North America but as well. You know, that brings us back to the discussion of, say, the Valve versus the Blizzard yeah. model, or the, yeah. the franchise versus yeah. not franchise. Yeah. Is it a case that North American I don't organizations... Think it's no, I don't think it's well, as are, straightforward are they, as that. Are they looking at this thinking, well, I have no security. I don't want to invest in well, this. There is, there is an element. Of, I mean, I think with the big teams, teams like FaZe and Optic, yeah. yeah, they will look at Dota as a bit of a risk because it's not... Or well, they won't, but the investors will because they'll be looking at it going, oh, there's a chance we don't qualify for TI. There's mm. a chance we don't qualify for majors. That's a massive risk to the brand. Therefore, for the amount of money we'll have to pay out to get top players and the salaries we'd have to pay, do we really want to take that risk when we're guaranteed a spot in the Overwatch League or the COD League or the League of Legends League or whatever? Um, and the answer is no, they won't. They won't want to take that risk. But that's, that also applies to Counter-Strike too. Yeah. Because they can get relegated from all the pro leagues and get relegated from ECS. So and and then what's, where's your investment? Absolutely, right? yeah, and then and you're done. So 
why are they investing in CS but they're not investing in Dota? That's that's the key question I want to know. Yeah. Because like you could, I think you could make an argument for well, we only invest in franchise leagues, but though some of those teams aren't doing that. Look mm. at Energy, look at Phase, mm. look at Optic. They're not just investing in franchise. They're investing outside of those leagues as well, and they're doing it in Rainbow Six. They're doing it in Counter Strike. Why why not Dota?